Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mike Odom here, Odom Figuration. And I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and do some display art again. I've been crazy busy with work lately and I've kind of branched out and started doing some wedding photography, portrait photography, family um, engagement, stuff like that. I'm working on building a business right now for based off of my photography and videography. Mainly videography because it kind of really pays right now and a lot of businesses are looking for that. But anyways, today's gonna be about the brand new Marvel Legend Maestro. Now I did pre-order this guy through Amazon and he finally showed up about a week ago, um, I think on a Monday. But I did see that a couple of people had pre-ordered him or bought him off eBay. Some people got him really early, so I'm not the first person to have this figure or even review this figure. But I am excited to have him. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the figure and see what he's all about. All right, so taking a real quick look at Maestro, he did come with a pair of fists and a pair of open hands. And this Hulk kind of has like an olive green to it almost like an army green um it's not as dark as the other one or vivid green but yeah it's more like olive but it's coming out pretty green in the camera so that's really good so this is just like any other hulk that we've got recently he has a slight butterfly joint really goes back more than forward um you can 360 at the arm you got a single jointed elbow so it can go up about that high and it does have a wrist hinge He does have a torso swivel, and then he has the butt, the joint right there. Pretty crazy how many abs he has in there. And then he does have brown jeans compared to the other ones that are dark blue and purple. And then going down to his feet, it's just like any other Hulk. He's got the green feet, big, stands very easily. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, he does come with that beard, and you can see underneath, you can see some teeth, so he is grinning, or he is angry, as he should be. Then he has the gold chain around his neck. I'm not really sure what these signify in the comics. If you know, can you leave a comment down below? Then he is bald on top, because he is pretty old, and then he has the wavy hair. That's pretty cool. He does look good from behind, the muscles like that and everything. I did see a picture where he was punching, and you can see like his back muscles and stuff, but I was not able to get Hulk into that pose. But it is a really cool figure. I really like the aesthetics. I really like the looks of this figure. It's pretty comic accurate. Um, he does, in different comics, he does have like metal around his arm. He does have a cape and everything like that. But this is more like the battle ravaged, um, basic uh, Maestro. I do think they went based off of the video game, the Hawkeye expansion pack. Because I was watching a video and it kind of looks exactly like this Hulk. So I think that's what they were basing that off of. So for quick size comparison, here I have Roshi from the Dragon Star series. I did just get this figure as well, I believe the day after I got Maestro. But as you can see, Maestro is towering over him as he should be. And I don't believe Roshi is supposed to be the tallest character ever. But when he powers up like that, he is pretty big. And then over on his right, I have the Lightning Collection Pharaoh bad guy. I did just pick this up at Target because it was on clearance for $8.99, so I was pretty excited about that. Don't care much for the figure, but it is nice to have at $8.99. And those two next to each other, I'm not too sure how accurate the Egyptian guys is, but I do like the way Hulk is big, towering over him. Next up in size comparisons with some soft goods, on his right, I have the Mezco Dark Knight Batman that I did just recently get in a trade and I just recently opened it up and I do wanna do a review for that. And then over on his left, I have the 3A Murd figure and he's towering over both of them. Batman is taller than the 3A figure, which actually looks really good. And then Batman actually looks pretty buff next to Hulk, but that is a Mezco figure and they do have their own scaling. So I really do like the way these look to, next to each other, but this is just quick size comparison. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for my review of the Marvel Legends Maestro. I really do like this figure. There's really not a whole lot to the aesthetics of this figure, but I do like Maestro. I like the character. It is Hulk. There's not always a whole lot going on with him, but with Maestro, you do get some added features like the wrist guards, the necklace, and then the beard and the long hair. I really am a fan of this storyline Hulk. I like that in the future, he's kind of evil, kind of stubborn, um, smarter than he looks, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I really do like this figure. I hope you like this review. Subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this review. I do kind of want to start going into gear because I did just get this new lens. It's a 16 to 24, and it's a really, really wide angle lens, which is really cool for these reviews. 
But uh, I think I'm going to start turning my channel more into photography geared, more into like wedding stuff, more into how I'm prepping, how I'm getting stuff done. So if you're into that stuff, if you want to see how my photography is going to evolve and how I'm taking, taking on this business, um, please do subscribe. I plan on making more videos, more gear related, more uh, photography related, more stuff like that. So please do subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.